All right, let's go to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Kristen is on the line. Kristen, how can I help? Hi, hi Ken. Um, so nice to talk to you. Big, big fan of your show. Thank you for taking my call. You bet. Thank you so much. Yeah. How can I help today? What's going um, on? Yeah. So okay, I, I, I love Christmas, and I am a, always have loved Christmas. But it, the last um, three, four years in a row, I've had like kind of a, a lot of bad luck around Christmas time, and it's, oh, well, it's causing me to have a, you know, question my life choices here. So. Um, so a, a quick story. I, I lost my, you know, my parents right around Christmas time. My mom most recently. Oh no. Um, yeah, just kind of, you know, young, both unexpected, just heart attacks and, you know, it is what it is, but, uh, it makes this time, you know, like for many others hard. Sure. Um, and so then last year I had a, I had a, a position as, a, um, a teacher with small groups, um, teaching, reading, that I, I truly loved. I actually had the, the job for about 15 years. Um, but due to taking way too many sick days because I was grieving my mom, we were really close. Um, anyway, I lost the position of, um, right around Christmas time last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, was this around the same time as your mother passing, or is this a different Christmas? This was last Christmas. So my mother passed, and then I lost my job. Oh, all in the same, in the same year. Oh yeah, it was a double whammy. How far apart um, were the two? Your mom passing, and then you. Oh uh, my mom, your... yeah, my mom passed in February, and um, then I lost my job right around Christmas. Okay, so, gotcha. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. What What and was so the many, reason for uh, losing your job? Did they give you one? Uh, honestly, it was too many sick days, and not a. You know, I should have. Looking back, I should have taken like a leave of absence just to, um, deal with things and. You know, I took too many days just to go see a grief counselor and, gotcha. and whatnot like that. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, so then, yeah, so then I jumped back into the, the classroom. I'd been working with small groups, and I jumped into the classroom in a in a small district. I was working in a, a larger district before, and I tell you, that was that was a wake-up call. Um, these, I, I'm kind of a more of a, a quieter person, and... You know, I love working with kids. That's that is a passion of mine. But when you have eighteen, nineteen first graders that are throwing chairs and you know biting people, and ripping down bolts and boards, and I tell you, there wasn't a lot of support at this place, and um, mm. it just came to the point where it was too much. Um, so just last Monday, they just said, you know, you obviously you can't handle these behaviors. Um, we'd like you to resign and it was devastating. I'm like, here we go again. So two years in a row in December, you've lost your job. <sighs> yes. Yes. It's yeah. lovely. And no, and I have small, you know, I have family and bills to pay and Christmas presents are not looking good. And it, it, mm. it honestly really sucks. <laughs> I know it does. It does. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a lot going on. How can I best help yeah. you today? Like what's that thing that I can dive into to, to, to try to, encourage and equip you to move forward what what what, what can i help with um just, i know you're super good at like motivating people to figure out what they want to do and honestly i i know for sure i cannot go back to a classroom teaching job yeah um i need to find something i can do with my degrees and my abilities um what are you best at what are you be, what are you best at doing like let's just say you and i are hanging out in the kitchen, I've got your husband, family, friends, parent. I mean, uh, not your parents. I'm sorry, uh, but we've got everybody That's sitting right. around you that know you. And yeah. I go, hey, um, what is Kristen really good at doing? And what are they going to say? Um, <laughs> uh, pro- you know, probably say like <laughs> having fun with not having fun, but like I love teaching kids, like in small groups, and I. I also have horses, so I love being with my horses and riding and teaching people about horses. And All right, now we're getting somewhere because you've kind of flip-flopped back and forth between what you love to do. And I wanted to know what people would say Kristen oh, is most say? talented at doing. So would they say she's really good at instructing people and te- teaching no. people? What would they say? <laughs> they would go, Kristen's really good at, what would they say? Oh, gosh, I don't know. I yeah, mean, they'd probably do. say at connecting with little kids and um, you know, taking care of her animals and bringing smiles to faces of, you know, I, when I do 
I don't know. Honestly, I'd have yeah, to you ask do. them. <laughs> no, you do. You do know. So, so the issue is you do love working with little kids. Uh, you do have a, a natural instructor in you. But the environment you've been in the past is not a good environment. It's either not the right yeah. environment or you are also have not, you haven't been maybe in the best frame of mind to be able to handle that environment. And, and I don't have the tools, but yeah, the tools. What are, do you mean you by know, the they, tools? Uh, so, for example, if a child is throwing chairs, I don't know how to, I, I can, you know, try to calm them down, but I don't know how to like, that's a, my kids at home don't do that. So I don't know what to do. That's like a, a realm of behavior that I don't know how to handle. Well, you may not, so. that's fair. I think that's fair, but I think mm-hmm. you could learn how to handle it because your kids don't do that at your house for a reason. Well, why do your mm-hmm. kids not throw chairs at each other at your house? They're too busy having fun. I don't know. There's nothing to get so mad about. <laughs> right, but then you're in a but you're in a public a school house. environment. What are kids? How is it getting out of control that quickly? Are the kids just coming in angry and and just starting stuff? Yeah, they want atten- is attention. You know, there's too many kids, not attention at home, and if Bingo. I throw chairs, they'll get attention. Bingo. Yeah. So, yeah. we have to figure out. I've got two options here. Either I start instructing. And caring for, because what you enjoy doing with kids, I would suggest to you, you would enjoy doing with adults. Yeah. So I think one option is I'm going to go instruct, teach, guide, encourage, mentor, whatever, people who actually want to be there and who aren't going to have behavioral issues. That's one option. Or Mm -hmm. the other option is, is I work on myself a little bit and I get to the point where I go, you know what? I'm a mom. I'm a good mom. I'm actually a productive mm-hmm. adult. Mm-hmm. And I, I actually okay. understand why the kid is coming in acting that way. Yeah. And so if yeah. I work on some things, learn some things from maybe some teachers who know how to handle that stuff, and what do they do in those moments? How do they calm that kid down? What are the options that are afforded other teachers when other kids do that? Yeah. As opposed to you just shutting down. Because I'm, I'm taking a little bit of liberty here. Tell me if I'm wrong. But my guess is when that has happened in the past, you just shut down. I do. I get the class out of the room for safety and call someone for help. <laughs> Cause, yeah, I don't but know. But is that part but of the yeah. protocol? Yes, it is. But it's, I should have. Yeah, but there's know, something else. Could... There's something else then. If that's protocol and you're doing the protocol, then you've done it the way they told you to do it. But they didn't let you go because you did the protocol. They let you go because of something else, right? So you're clearly not. Yeah. What is it that that you it was, weren't doing? Well, it's like the minor daily classroom management, like kids calling out whenever they want to, you know. You know why? Because um, you don't have control of the classroom. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because I don't like, I'm not a controlling person. I want to I just get it. I get it. Learn and have fun. and like. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But yeah. what I'm trying to present you with is you have a couple of options. Yeah. You just go, you know what? That environment is not right for me. And not only is that environment not right for me, it's not a natural fit for me. I'm not interested in doing what it takes to become equipped to then be able to handle that. Yeah. yeah. What you said was perfect. It's not a natural fit, honestly. Great. I keep trying to push my personality to Great. be that. And All I, right. So I think we walk away. So I, yeah. So I think the signs, I think the signs have been made very clear. That's not the right environment for me. So now, instead of sitting around going, well, I've, I'm a teacher and I'm good at this and I love this. Trying to figure out something crazy new. It's like, no, you need to go instruct and teach and guide and encourage people yeah. who actually want to show up. You can do that in a lot of ways. Right. So far. Yes. Yeah. And you've got a teaching degree. Yes. A teaching degree, a master's in reading, teaching, and an, another master's in environmental stuff. So okay, great. So, I, I'm ready to go. <laughs> right. So what's the master's in environmental? What What does that mean? Master's in environmental? Um, Environmental science, like so I could teach classes in, you know, science and nature. And um, Can I just say, reality. I think you should look at the community college level. I'm, I'm ideating yeah, yeah. right now. Okay, well, this is yeah. brainstorming. I, if I were yeah, you, no, I'd be looking at the community college level. I would be looking mm-hmm. at a, courses for adults. You know, what does the Green Bay area or wherever you live, what are the, are there courses yeah. for people that are immigrants that are coming in and they're looking for basic adult education? Are there trade schools? 
um, that need yeah. basic teaching because see you're qualified you've got degrees yeah. you've got experience your narrative needs to be not that life is out to get me and December sucks every year. That's true. That's been true for you, but I don't believe that every December is going to suck for you. And I think it that <laughs> it won't, but you're going to have to decide on that. You get to decide. You know, yeah. it's I don't know if you heard today's opening teaching about how to not let a bad day turn into a bad week and a bad month and yeah, a bad year. Yeah, I got the end of it. Can I, I just tell you, really good. today's teaching yeah. was for you. And Aww, so when your you. mom died, that's a bad day. That's a bad really guy. bad day. It's the, uh, it's the it doesn't get any worse than that. All right. No. But what happened no. is you allowed that bad day to turn into a bad week, a bad month, and I would dare say a bad year. And I'm not blaming you. I'm no, putting my arm around you to say you have to decide going forward that you're not going to let every December come around. And the ghost of being laid off two years in a row is hanging on you like a heavy coat. And yeah, we got to take that right. coat off. So what I'm telling you is, you're starting to ideate. Where can I teach adults or older students who actually want to be in the room? And I gave you a couple of ideas. But you're mm-hmm. highly I'd qualified. I've already been thinking that a little bit, so that's Great. awesome to hear from you. I think yeah. you have to be, you have such a warm, kind soul. You need to be teaching, guiding, encouraging, instructing people but people that actually want to be there and are really grateful that you're there holding their hand, you know? Oh, I like this idea. I feel, okay, I feel a little bit of a joy coming on. So That's let's what we want at Christmas time. Joy to the world, one of my favorite lines <laughs> from Four Christmases. Joy to the world, that's good stuff. Hey, Kristen, it's going to be a better Christmas, I promise. It's going to be a better year in 2024. Thank you for trusting me today. This is the Ken Coleman Show. Press on.